Hi friends, welcome to my channel Biogas. Today let's look into some information about the thyroid gland. So what is thyroid gland? Thyroid is an endocrine gland situated at the root of the neck on either side of the trachea. It has two lobes which are connected in the middle by an isthmus. structure and the function of the thyroid gland change in different stages of the sexual cycle in females. Its function increases slightly during pregnancy and lactation and decreases during menopause. Thyroid gland starts functioning in the fetal life itself. However, the maximum activity of the gland is achieved only after puberty. Diseases of thyroid gland are more common in females than in males. Let's look into the histology of thyroid gland. Thyroid gland is composed of large number of closed follicles. The follicles are lined with cuboidal epithelial cells which are called the follicular cells. The follicular activity is filled with a colloidal substance known as thyroglobulin which is secreted by the follicular cells. Follicular cells secrete tetraiodothyronin which is also known as T4 or thyroxine and triiodothyronin which is also known as T3. In between the follicles, the parafollicular cells are present. These cells secrete calcitonin. Thyroid receives very rich blood supply. The amount of blood received by thyroid per minute is 5 times more than its weight. Let's look into the hormones of thyroid gland. Thyroid gland secretes three hormones. Tetraiodothyronin that is T4 thyroxine, triiodothyronin that is T3 and calcitonin. Both T4 and T3 are iodine containing derivatives of amino acid tyrosine. T4 is otherwise known as thyroxine and it forms about 90% of the total secretion whereas T3 is only 9-10%. to but the potency of T3 is 4 times more than that of T4. T4 acts for a longer period than T3. The duration of T4 action is 4 times more than T3 action. This is because of the difference in the affinity of these hormones to plasma proteins. T3 has less affinity for plasma proteins and combines loosely with them so that it is released quickly. T4 has more affinity and strongly binds with plasma protein so that it is released slowly. Therefore, T3 acts on the target cells immediately and T4 acts slowly. Let's look into the half-life of the hormones. The thyroid hormones have long half-life. T4 has a long half-life of 7 days. Half-life of T3 is varying between 10 and 24 hours.
synthesis of thyroid hormones. Synthesis of thyroid hormones takes place in thyroglobulin present in follicular activity. Iodine and tyrosine are essential for the formation of thyroid hormones. Iodine is consumed to diet. It is converted to iodide and absorbed from gastrointestinal tract. Tyrosine is also consumed through diet and is absorbed from the gastrointestinal tract. For the synthesis of normal quantities of thyroid hormones, approximately 1 mg of iodine is required per week or about 50 mg per year. To prevent iodine deficiency, common daily salt is iodized from 1 part of sodium iodide to every 100,000 parts of sodium chloride. Functions of thyroid hormones. Thyroid hormones have two major effects on the body. To increase the overall metabolic rate in the body and to stimulate the growth in children. Thyroid hormones have general and specific effects on growth. Lack of thyroxin errors the growth and increase in thyroxin secretion accelerates the growth of the body, especially in growing children. Thyroxin is more important to promote growth and development of the brain during fetal life and the first few years of postnatal life. Effect on body weight Thyroxin is essential for maintaining the weight of the body. Increase in thyroxin secretion decreases the body weight and fat storage. And decrease in thyroxin secretion increases the body weight because of fat deposition. Disorders of thyroid gland Hyperthyroidism Increased secretion of thyroid hormones is called hyperthyroidism. One of the causes for hyperthyroidism is Graves' disease which is an autoimmune disease. Causes for hyperthyroidism Graves' disease Graves' disease is an autoimmune disease and is the most most common cause of hyperthyroidism. Normally, thyroid stimulating hormone combines with surface receptors of thyroid cells and causes the synthesis and secretion of thyroid hormones. In Graves' disease, the B lymphocytes produce autoimmune antibodies called thyroid stimulating antibodies. These antibodies act like thyroid stimulating hormone and by binding with membrane receptors of thyroid stimulating hormone and activating cyclic adenosine monophosphate system of the thyroid follicular cells. This results in hypersecretion of thyroid hormones. The antibodies act for a long time even up to 12 hours in contrast to that of thyroid stimulating hormone which lasts only for an hour or so. The high concentration of thyroid hormones caused by the antibodies suppresses the thyroid stimulating hormone production also. So, the concentration of thyroid stimulating hormone is low or almost zero in the plasma of most of the hyperthyroid patients. Thyroid hormones affect many body systems, so signs and symptoms of Graves' disease can be wide-ranging. Although Graves' disease may affect anyone, it's more common among women and in people younger than aged 40. Now let's look into another cause of hyperthyroidism, thyroid adenoma. Sometimes, a localized tumor develops in the thyroid tissue. It is known as thyroid adenoma and it secretes large quantities of thyroid hormones. It's not associated with autoimmunity. As far as this adenoma remains active, the other parts of thyroid gland cannot secrete the hormone. This is because the hormone secreted from adenoma depresses the production of thyroid stimulation hormone. Let's look into the signs and symptoms of hyperthyroidism. Intolerance to heat is a common symptom in hyperthyroidism. It is because the body produces a lot of heat due to increased basal metabolic rate caused by excess of thyroxine. Increased sweating occurs due to vasodilation.
Vasodilation means widening of blood vessels. Body weight decreases due to fat mobilization. Increased mobility of gastrointestinal tract causes diarrhea. Excess protein catabolism causes muscular weakness. The symptoms like nervousness, extreme fatigue, inability to sleep, mild tremor in the hands and psychoneurotic symptoms such as hyperexcitability, extreme anxiety or worry are very common in hyperthyroidism. All these symptoms are due to the excess stimulation of neurons in the central nervous system. enlargement of the thyroid gland which is also called the toxic goiter oligomenorrhea or amenorrhea oligomenorrhea refers to infrequent menstrual periods amenorrhea is the absence of menstruation exothalamus that is protrusion of eyeballs polycythemia polycythemia refers to an increase in the number of red blood cells in the body tachycardia and atrial fibrillation systolic hypertension and cardiac failure hypothyroidism decreased secretion of thyroid hormones is called hypothyroidism hypothyroidism leads to myxedema in adults and cretinism in children myxedema it is the hypothyroidism in adults characterized by generalized edematous appearance causes for myxedema myxedema occurs due to diseases of thyroid gland genetic genetic disorder or iodine deficiency in addition it is also caused by deficiency of thyroid stimulating hormone or thyrotropic releasing hormone the common cause of myxedema is the autoimmune disease called hashimotos thyroiditis which is common in late middle aged women in most of the patients it starts with glandular inflammation called thyroiditis caused by autoimmune antibodies later it leads to destruction of the glands signs and symptoms of myxedema typical feature of this disorder is an edematous appearance throughout the body it is associated with the following symptoms swelling of the face bagginess under the eyes non pitting type of edema that is when pressed it does not make pits and the edema is hard it is because of accumulation of proteins with hyaluronic acid and chondroitin sulfate which form a hard tissue with increased accumulation of fluid atherosclerosis it is hardening of the walls of arteries because of accumulation of fat deposits and other substances in myxedema it occurs because of increased plasma level of cholesterol which leads to deposition of cholesterol on the walls of the arteries atherosclerosis produces arteriosclerosis which refers to the thickening and stiffening of arterial wall arteriosclerosis causes hypertension other general features of hypothyroidism in adults are anemia fatigue and muscular sluggishness extreme somnolence with sleeping up to 14 to 16 hours per day menorrhea and polymenorrhea that is abnormality in menstrual flow decreased cardiovascular function such as reduction in the rate and force of contraction of the heart cardiac output and blood volume increase in body weight constipation mental sluggishness depressed hair growth scaliness of the skin frog like husky voice and cold intolerance cretinism cretinism is the hypothyroidism in children characterized by stunted growth cretinism occurs due to congenital absence of thyroid gland gen- genetic disorder or lack of iodine in the diet features of cretinism a newborn baby with thyroid deficiency may appear normal at the time of birth because thyroxine might have been supplied from mother 
but a few weeks after birth the baby starts developing signs like sluggish movements and croaking sound while crying unless treated immediately the baby will be mentally retarded permanently skeletal growth is more affected than the soft tissues so there is stunted growth with bloated body the tongue becomes so big that it hangs down with dripping of saliva the big tongue sub- sometimes obstructs swallowing and breathing the tongue produces characteristic guttural breathing that may sometimes choke the baby goiter goiter means enlargement of the thyroid gland it occurs both in hypothyroidism and hyperthyroidism goiter in hyperthyroidism is toxic goiter toxic goiter is the enlargement of thyroid gland with increased secretion of thyroid hormones caused by thyroid tumor because of increased number of hormone secreting cells of the tumor the hormone level increases to a very great extent hence it is called as toxic goiter goiter in hypothyroidism is non toxic goiter non toxic goiter is the enlargement of thyroid gland without increase in hormone secretion based on the cause the non toxic hypothyroid goiter is classified into two types endemic colloid goiter and idiopathic non toxic goiter endemic colloid goiter it is the non toxic goiter caused by iodine deficiency it is also called iodine deficiency goiter iodine deficiency occurs when intake is less than 50 micrograms per day because of lack of iodine there is no formation of hormones in certain areas of the world especially in the swiss alps and this great lakes region of united states and in india particularly in kashmir valley the soil does not contain enough iodine therefore the food stuffs also do not contain iodine the endemic colloid goiter was very common in these parts of the world before the introduction of iodized salts idiopathic non toxic goiter It is the goiter due to unknown cause enlargement of thyroid gland occurs even without iodine deficiency the exact cause is not known it is suggested that these patients are affected first by thyroiditis which reduces the synthesis of thyroid hormones in some persons the abnormal enzyme system leads to goiter in these persons the goiter develops due to the deficiency of enzymes like peroxidase iodinase and deiodinase which are required for the thyroid hormone synthesis some food stuffs contain goitrogenic substances such as goitrin these substances contain anti thyroid substances like polythiouracil such goitrogens are found in vegetables like turnips and cabbages Soybean also contains some amount of goitrogens. The goitrogens become active only during low iodine intake. Treatment for hyperthyroidism, surgical removal. Hyperthyroidism can be treated by antithyroid substances. However, in advanced cases, the thyroid gland must be removed. The surgical removal of thyroid gland is called thyroidectomy antithyroid substances the drugs which suppress the secretion of thyroid hormones are called antithyroid substances the three well known antithyroid substances are thiocyanate thiouralins and high concentration of inorganic iodides treatment for hypothyroidism the only treatment for hypothyroidism is the administration of thyroid extract or ingestion of pure thyroxine in the form of tablets orally thyroid function tests the following tests are commonly done to access the functional status of thyroid gland 
for the usual case of hyperthyroidism or hypothyroidism the most accurate diagnostic test is direct measurement of concentration of free thyroid hormones in the plasma that is t3 and t4 measurement of basal metabolic rate in hyperthyroidism it is usually increased by about 30 to 60 percent basal metabolic rate is decreased in hypothyroidism by 20 to 40 percent the measurement of thyrotropin releasing hormone and thyroid stimulating hormone There is almost total absence of these two hormones in hyperthyroidism. It is because of negative feedback mechanism by the increased level of thyroid hormones. Thank you for watching guys. Please like and subscribe my videos. I'll be back with more videos. Bye bye.